I am going to show you the most popular step-in food trailer. This is a 14 feet food trailer which is excellent to sell tacos, burritos, tortoise, and everything that is related to the Latino food gourmet. It is also good for hamburgers and sandwiches. I will show you why. This is a fully equipped food trailer. The finishing is in stainless steel, and it comes with an aluminum floor. Let me start from this side, I am moving to my left. This is the hand wash sink. There is the soap dispenser, and the towel dispenser. Next to the hand wash sink, is the three compartment sink, this is the type of sink required by the health department, in Los Angeles County. It includes the drain boards on the sides. This box here, is for the spray hose, to wash the unit inside. Let me continue, and here we have a prep area. It is large enough. Now, we have the sandwich prep area. This is a 28 inches salad bar. Take a look at these compartments, it has 6 full side, and 2 half size sections. There is a refrigerator underneath. This is the reach in refrigerator. This commercial refrigerator measures 28 inches in length, and it is very roomy. I'm going to turn around and here is the emergency exit. Let's take a look outside. These are the propane tanks. And here is the power generator. Let's get back inside, and the first thing we see, is the service window. On top, you find the fire suppression system. And here is the service counter, typically it measures 2 feet. Underneath the service window, is the ice bin. You put the ice in there, and the sodas, bottled water, energetic drinks, and they get cold. I am in the front side now. The first piece of equipment that we see, is a commercial 40 pounds, deep fryer, it comes with two baskets. There is a partition between the service window, and the cooking area. It helps to prevent, oil spilling from the deep fryer to the service counter. This is the prep area. In Los Angeles County, it must measure at least 30 inches in length. For this specific trailer size, it is a little bit longer than 36 inches. We continue with the cooking equipment. These are the open top burners, or hot plates, they take 12 inches of space. All the equipment is commercial grade. Now we have the griddle. This is a 3 feet flat griddle. Every burner measures a foot. One, two, three. The last piece of cooking equipment is the double steam table. This is the faucet to fill the steam table at the commissary. These are the pans, come two per well. Some customers use smaller pans to have more sections at the steam table. All the cooking equipment is protected by the fire suppression system. Also on top of the cooking equipment, we find the grease filters, and the exhaust system. This area, must be, well illuminated with the appropriated light bulbs. So, this is how the trailer looks from the rear main entrance. Now, I'm going to the bottom sections of the food trailer. This is the access to the plumbing. Here is the area to store the sanitizing utensils, and cleaning fluids. No food can be stored in there.
This section is plumbing free, and you can use it to store pots or any type of utensils. I'm going to turn to the front side. Underneath the preparation area is the utensils drawer. This drawer is required. We also have bottom storage. And underneath the flat griddle, there is additional storage. This is the area of the steam table. We can't put anything underneath, because there is a hose, therefore, this area can't be used for storage. Let me turn around, that's the main entrance. On the top, are the roof vents. All the lighting must be protected with anti-shatter covers. In this 14 feet food trailer, we can accommodate 3 ventilation. Looking to my right, we see the top shelving. The top shelving is large, it starts from the beginning of the food trailer, to the refrigerator. The trailer has many AC outlets, should you decide to use any extra appliance. On the service window side, there are multiple AC outlets. This is how the 14 feet step in trailer looks. This is the most popular step in food trailer that we manufacture for typical Latino food. Many people call it food truck launchera, o launcherita. Let us go outside the step in trailer. The food trailer is finished in white, as per customer request. This is the escalator to have access to the roof. This is the folding table. It is secured with a metal latch. Now, I am going to put it up and lock it in place. And that's the table to put some disposable utensils that are protected and dispensed in approved containers. Those are the two large see-through windows. They can't be opened. The only window that can be opened, is this, the service window. When we open the overhead window protection, you can see the LED lighting. This lighting is very helpful when the customer is ordering his food. This is a 14 feet food trailer and has double axle. I'm moving to the front of the food trailer, and this is how it looks, in an angle view. There you can see the emergency exit. This is the area for the propane tanks, and this is the area for the power generator. This outlet that you see here, is very important. This is the outlet that you use to plug the food trailer at the commissary, to have electrical power inside. These are the refrigerator's ventilation. This is the water inlet for the food trailer. This is the water heater ventilation. So, this is how the 14 feet food trailer looks from the outside. If you have any other question, related to the food trailer, or to food trucks, contact us or leave us a message. Please do not ask for prices, because we do not put prices online, as every customer is different. If you want to know a price, give us a call at 32323268801 we are located at 5850 Avalon Boulevard Los Angeles California we are by Avalon Boulevard and Slauson Boulevard South Central LA thank you very much for watching this video my name is Raul our business hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, for more interesting food truck and food trailers videos. Goodbye.